thanks for checking out one of our videos here this is going to be a, a probably be a possibly a two-parter video uh, we're going to go through this unit and test it out see what's wrong with it um, it's a warranty unit so whatever parts are bad with it if we don't have we don't get these in for, for repair very often it's Gallagher MBS uh, 200 so whatever is wrong with this we'll send back the bad parts to Gallagher uh, with the serial number of the unit and then we'll get wait for the warranty replacement parts to show back up and then reinstall them and get the unit going but let's go through this and see what's wrong with it though this is a uh, two-store dual unit it's dual powered AC DC unit so it runs on either 120 volt or 12 volt and what I like about these ones compared to some of the other ones are like that it, it's a better put together unit when it comes to how it's sealed up and stuff this is um oh it looks like it's never been used but you can see it's got some bird crap on there not a very big unit physically and it's pretty compact in size but here's the 12 volt cable i don't think it's ever been used still all wrapped up in the cord there uh with a zip tie around there or just tie and here's the uh 120 volt cord so there's no note on it what was wrong with it but we'll plug it in here we'll plug this into the outlet battery check works it's off Is that real quick? Well, I have to do, put these two Just the two big wires, yeah. So let's turn this off real quick. Uh -huh. Turn it back on. Test it out here and see what we got going on. Take our Gallagher fault finder, we'll go across ground and fence at the same time. And we're getting 9.6 kV, so just shy of 10,000 volts out of it. Oh. 9.6 kV. Okay, well, so far so good. Hmm. Let's... um unplug this cord here let's try their 12 volt cord on there so I don't know how the customers running it if he's running it out in the middle of pasture on 12 volt or if he's running on a, on a 12 volt battery if he's plugging into his wall but the wall part of it is working fine now, sometimes I've seen uh, Gallagher's use these clamps for years on their 12 volt stuff. Every once in a while, you'll see one of these wires unplugged from down inside the little. What's the screen show now? It's probably got a. He's probably a kid. Is it clicking about the same as it sounds the same? Yeah. Yeah. You also see them where they're corroded down inside there sometimes too. So, hook up to a power supply here. We we'll set, we'll set the power supply to like 13 volts, 12.7, and we'll clip on the black and red here. Make sure this reads fine. Yep. Battery check. Whoops. So 12 volt. Well, that's all clicking and flashing. Well. Nine point four, nine point 
So I may have to call the customer up and just talk shop with them, see what they had going on. I guess I could open it up here real quick and just to just to see. He's got those funky screws in it. Well, it looks good. Nothing's unplugged. Everything's in place. The transfer wires are all plugged in. Pretty slick looking transformer. This is your primer input side, but look how the wires are on the four, four inputs to it. Wow. Sugar ball, a bit more of the I bet most electronics are probably on the front side of this board. I'm not taking it all the way out just to do just to look at that, but it looks fine. Nothing looks burnt out of place. Nothing smells funny. So let's get this back in there. And I'll call the customer up. Let's see what their problem was in the field right now at the moment I don't see anything wrong with it all right well here's our information all right there are description down below in the description our links are videos down below but there's our information right there fencerfixer.com Until next time, we'll see you guys later on.